What's up? You... you little rascals. I'm glad that you have decided to partake in this joyous convocation. A place of retreat where we can just chill out, have fun, and um... Apparently talk about elderly people getting ripped off by beauty establishments. Yeah, so this story came to light recently about an elderly man who was charged $4,000 for a one-time facial treatment. Yes, that's right, losers. $4,000 dollary dues, baby. And it wasn't even a long-term facial treatment package. It was more of a one-time facial fling. So how the fuck did it cost four thousand dollars? It's it's impossible for it to cost four thousand dollars, and I would know because, as you can see from my perfect complexion, I always go to beauty salons. It's it's like a second home to me. <laughs> so anyway, according to news website Stomp, an elderly man saw a sign outside beauty salon E Zone advertising for a thirty-eight dollar facial, and um, he decided to go in and give it a try. Okay, cool. Cool, nothing wrong there. Maybe, maybe Uncle Boon just wanted to have a better complexion so that he'll be the start of the coffee shop. Maybe, maybe he's been wanting to talk to that um, drink store auntie, Auntie Lily. And now, after he gets his new glowing skin, he will finally have enough confidence to ask Auntie Lily out on a date to his grandson's void deck. <laughs> Yay! Great, it's a win-win. So Uncle Boon gets into the store and the staff told him halfway through the treatment that it'll cost $20 to remove a single oil bump. Okay, first of all, what is an oil bump? I don't know. Uh, give me a minute. <gasps> what? This is an oil bump and it costs $20 to remove one of those? What the? It's gonna cost a million dollars to fix my face. Alright guys, so yeah, I'm thinking of going back to E-Zone for a facial treatment. So I'm just gonna count how many oil bumps and pimples that I have so that I'll roughly know the price. It's gonna cost $20 each. A few oil bumps on my forehead, oh actually quite a bit. So that's $20, $20, $20, $20, $20, $20, $20. Quite a bit of blankets too actually. Blankets are probably gonna cost, what, $50 because I think, you know, it's a bit more difficult to remove. Um, yeah, a bit of blemish over here. Blemishes, oh, that's gonna cost $200. More blemishes, $200, $200, $200, $50, $50, $50, $50. So I'm just done calculating. It'll cost around $10,000 to clear my face of all my oil bumps and pimples. I mean, $10,000 is so worth it. So worth it. So I'm gonna give Ezo a call right now and book my next appointment. <laughs> Yay! Anyway, shouldn't the price of the service be explained to the customer prior to him engaging the service? I, I don't know, it just seems a bit dodgy for them to have to say it halfway through the treatment that it'll cost $20 to remove a single oil bump. <laughs> like, how would you know how many oil bumps you have? That's like going to a hairdresser for a $10 haircut and the hairdresser says to you, Hey man, it's gonna cost a dollar for every 10 grams of hair I cut. How the hell am I gonna calculate that? So anyway, Uncle Boon carried on with the treatment and lo and behold, he was smacked in his wrinkly face with a hefty bill of $4,445. Ah. <sighs> $4,000. I mean, you can only imagine how shocked Uncle Boon was. He was probably thinking how many cups of kopi o he could have bought with $4,000. Then he went on to pay the beauty salon reluctantly because he didn't want to cause any problems. But the poor old man couldn't even do it because he reached his transaction limit of $2,000. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. Poor Uncle Boon. <laughs> I don't know, something about that is just so saddening. Like, <laughs> the poor man can't even pay for it. He reached his transaction limit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so a few days later, the family of the elderly man heard about this and they went down to the shop to confront E-Zone. So throughout this whole confrontation, the family was trying to understand why it cost $4,000 for a goddamn facial and why no receipts were issued. Blah blah blah, this went on for a while and then both parties decided to call the police. Oh no. And investigations are still going on. Now you might be thinking, <laughs> so and that's it. What about the horny old man? Wait. 
There's more. Here's the side of the story that Izon purports when contacted by a local newspaper. The owner of the salon stated that her staff counted every single oil bump, so he knew what he was getting into. And, and, Uncle Boon had requested for his feet to be washed and requested for special services. He wanted to have his dick yanked. Now I know this is just a he said, she said kind of thing, but if what Izon claimed is true, Uncle Boon, you... you dirty old man. <laughs> so naughty ah, uh, uncle. Huh? Can't resist the pretty China tzetzes at E-Zone, is it? Huh? <laughs> what, what about Auntie Lily? What about Auntie Lily who's, who's waiting for you at her drink stall? Huh? She, she's waiting for you to come back with your glowing new skin and here you are asking for special services? <sighs> uncle Boon. <sighs> so disappointing. But anyway, can an 87-year-old still do the dirty deed? <laughs> won't, his, won't his pelvis shatter or something? But what if he gets a cardiac arrest from getting too excited? Ah uh, girl, you like when Gong Gong pop your oil bumps? Yeah, I'm gonna put that in. So anyway, that's both sides of the story and investigations are still going on. We'll see who gets vindicated. I don't know, what do you think? Who do you think is in the wrong here? You can't answer, so I'll just say what I think. I think both parties were at fault. It's, it's just a matter of degree. First of all, E-Zone should have stated the prices clearly right from the beginning, even before starting the procedure. It's, it's just very, very scummy behavior to lure people in with a $38 facial and then telling them that it costs $20 per oil bump. It's sort of like a lure and upsell tactic, which is just... <laughs> ugh. And something tells me that they were trying to take advantage of the old man by, you know, bending their prices and trying to charge the maximum amount for something that an old man probably wouldn't understand, i.e. facial treatments. But I also think that Uncle Boon isn't entirely innocent. Maybe he really was trying to look for another kind of oil bumping in the parlor, and maybe the staff knew this and they took advantage of it. I am aware that there are shady beauty parlors that offer special services illegally, like I'm pretty sure there's one near my place. <laughs> and I'm thinking maybe this uncle thought that E-Zone was one of those parlors and he decided to go in and get his pipe cleaned. At the end of the day, I think both parties were in the wrong. Both parties were hungry, one for business, and the other wanted to slide his cane into the Forbidden City. I guess the lesson here is to be wary of unestablished beauty salons and really know what you're getting into before proceeding to engage their services. And also not to let your grandfathers run wild. Like, you know, when you're out with him and you see him peering into the windows of a beauty salon, um, just maybe just give him a tap on the head like, No, Akong, no, no. Stop looking, what are you looking at? Huh? You so old already, you still want to go this kind of place? Huh? Don't so naughty ya, ah, Kong. Bad. Bad, Kong Kong. Bad. Alright, that's it for this story. Um, I just created a Twitter account. Go follow me there. And you can mention me if there's anything you want me to talk about or review in my next video. In other words, I'm simply using you guys for content. If this video made you smile, consider subscribing. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.